Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Dragon Age in the Vanguard. So we'll start from that going to lighthouse mission because I think everything is stuck. Because I did not do this mission. Rook, just got word. First Warden's calling everyone back to Weishaupt. Everyone except me, seems like. Guess the First Warden didn't like me joining your team. Calling Wardens back from all over Thedas is a big step. Did he give any reason why? Not exactly. But I've heard rumors of a massive Darkspawn horde on the move. Even hearing there's an Archdemon with them. The timing can't be a coincidence. The gods must be behind this. I bet they are. Rook, if the gods have an Archdemon, Warden Lore says Archdemons only show up during a blight. Doesn't say anything about Elven gods. Seems like the rules have changed, and we're going in blind. We need to know what we're up against. I'll talk to Solus. See if he knows anything about any of this. Make sure the others are ready to move. Let's talk to others. You cannot do this, Alganan. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mithal's annoying laugh dog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lap dog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Elvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dread Wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods. Well, mine and Davrin's. Given what we've seen them do, I was expecting someone to do something epic. Right? It was so mundane. Nothing grand or cosmic. No setting fire to the sun. It was just talking. Politics. I wish they were monsters. Something grand and terrible. Seeing them like that, they're no better than to venture nobles. They're no worse, either. They were people. And people can let you down. All right. What else can we take from this memory? Elgrenon was hungry for power. Did anything he could to get it and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elgonon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgonon over him, a betrayal. I think I get where Mithal is coming from. Really? You've just finished some big war. Everyone is exhausted, and now Elganon won't give up power. If Mithal sided with Solus, would Elganon have backed down? Not a chance. It would have led to another war. Mithal tried to keep the peace. And Solus must see that, but still can't accept that she chose peaceful politics over his ideals. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. 
His regrets. That means there are a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept it in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. We've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an Archdemon. And you have questions? I need to know how Archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the Blighted Dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question, if you answer mine. What? How are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? No. The First Warden still refuses to listen. As I feared. I tried diplomacy, I tried being firm. Nothing worked. When I asked why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you said that nobody else was doing it. That sufficed for me. But you will need more to convince the Grey Wardens. They see themselves as destined to lead this battle. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side? I don't have to convince all of them. I just have to convince the First Warden. Or remove him. Enjoyable as that is to imagine, I doubt the rest of the Wardens would approve. Did you know the Evanurus once numbered many more than those whose names survive in the Elven Pantheon? One Warlord was particularly cruel. I sought to free his slaves, but so fearsome was his reputation that none would join me. What did you do? I made people laugh at him. How did that help? For twelve years. Every sound near him, from whispered pleas to shouted oaths to crackling fire, all became mocking laughter. His mind broke under the ridicule, and when he fell, his slaves rose up and joined me. I doubt laughter is going to work on the First Warden. If not that, then what? Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes. The old gods of Tevinter, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinter gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanuris. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanuris as both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanuris until their Dragon Thrall is slain. What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganan is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Nathor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves, with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego, the epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. Damn, tell me what you really think of the guy. 
He is cruelty and arrogance personified. All of the Evanuris were flawed, but he made all of them worse. By contrast, Gilanane was a servant of Andrew, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant, ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. Any other surprises we should know about? Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered. It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. All right. Kill the archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. You will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared. Yeah, when you strike, you keep in your mind to be prepared. not certain you would come. You were the one who walked away. I never turn my back when my friend needs me. The Evanuris seek the magic of the Blight. Impossible. The Blight is safely sealed away forever. No, oh, I wish I could believe you. I have sensed the breaking of the wards. I will investigate your claims. If they forget the danger of the Blight, I will endeavor to remind them. What if instead you left the Evanuris? remained with me. Do you not wish for freedom from this struggle? Be at peace, love. I will stop them. As you must. The blood is our mistake. Did Mithal call Solas love in that memory? That's what it sounded like. So they were doing it. The elven gods were free with their emotions. They felt things deeply. The way they expressed things, well, it feels romantic to us, but that wasn't really how it was. Back then, I mean. Nah, they were doing it. Whether they were doing it or not, Solas cared about her. That's what matters. So the Dread Wolf goes to Mathal. They might be fighting, but they have history. And he warns her about the other god using the Blight. That's more important than his rebellion. It's like kingdoms coming together when an archdemon rises. Mathal didn't think it was possible. She said the Blight was sealed away. There's an old legend about it. Davern, the one with Andrul's armor? Not sure it matters. We're deep in elven lore already. What's the legend say? Right. Well, Andrul was the goddess of the hunt. She put on armor, magic armor, made us something called the Void. Drove her mad. I remember this one. The other gods were afraid Andrul would turn on them. She was doing all kinds of horrible things, causing plagues. It does sound like the Blight. Well, it all ends with Mithal fighting Andrul. After, Mithal turned into a dragon. She what? Why didn't you start with that? Anyway, she took Andrul's armor away. Then Andrul's madness left, and peace returned. Intriguing. So it's possible Andrul stumbled onto the magic of the Blight. And when Andrul went mad, Mithal took it from her and locked it away. Until someone started using it again. Okay, Solus warns Mithal about the other gods using the Blight. It's not just bad, 
It's something bad he feels responsible for. The Blight was our mistake. How's the Blight their mistake? Do they find it? Do they make it? What does that mean? Whatever it was, it convinced Mithal to take him seriously. So Mithal goes off to investigate what Solus says. Then, what? It's too clean. Seems plenty messy with them doing it. But this isn't just a memory. <laughs> it's something Solus wanted to hide. What's the crime? What did we see here that he feels guilty about? I think I might know. When the Inquisitor was saving the world from the Breach, she met Mithal. What? Like, in a dream? It was complicated. She helped the Inquisition. There was a magic pond and a dragon. Nice! The point is, she also said the other elven gods betrayed her. Killed her. Solus goes to Mithal, the one semi-reasonable elven god for help, and the other gods kill her for it. I imagine the Dread Wolf's rebellion heated up significantly after that. Right. And Mithal wasn't there to keep the other gods in check anymore. Well, it's not just that she died. What do you mean, Tosh? It's... Ugh. There was stuff he wanted to tell her. But he waited too long. And then she was dead. He never got to make it right. That twists you up. That's it. There's our crime. Doesn't really tell us anything we can use, though. We know more than we did. That's something. Then I guess we keep our eyes open if we come across more of these memories. to try to cage us, jealous of our growing power. You will pay the final price for this betrayal. We warned you not to use the blight. For this and for Mathol, I sentence you to sleep in exile ever after. Your own lives will form the veil that keeps the horror you unleashed at bay. So he locked the gods away and created a veil between this world and the Fade. I mean, they were terrible, no question. But what he did, it didn't just stop them. It destroyed our culture, our world. It wasn't just to stop them. It was to stop the Blight. We've seen how bad Elganon and Gilanain are. Imagine all seven corrupted gods running wild. So he created the veil just to keep the elven gods locked in their prison? Yes, to keep them from accessing the Fade. But was the creation of the Veil around the world an accident? You heard him yelling. That's not the sound of a ritual going right. What do you think, Rook? Honestly, it's a little terrifying. I've studied the Fade for years with the Watchers. The idea that the Veil, a fundamental part of our world, was an accident as Solus sprang his trap. Astonishing how little we truly know. And a good reminder not to start spells you don't know how to finish. I had another question, and I'm sorry, maybe this doesn't matter, but Solus trapped the Blighted Gods in an ancient elven building, right? That's what it looks like. Maybe a palace? Fancier than what I've seen in Arlathan, at least. And then, the Magisters were lured into the Fade. They broke in, which let the Blight escape, and turned the Golden City black. Right, and the Black City hangs in the Fade, a little reminder of their mistakes. What's wrong, Lace? It's just... The Chant of Light says that the Maker built for them the Golden City, the center of all creation. But if the Golden City was an ancient elven palace, then the Maker didn't build it. The elves did. The Chant of Light is Andraste's visions from the Maker, but it sounds like it's... wrong. 
You're asking if we just disprove the entire Andrastian faith. Did we? The Maker was never my faith, Lace, but I don't think you have to give it up. But what they taught us was just wrong. What if the Maker just doesn't exist? The chance of light might be wrong, but it's been made and changed by people over a thousand years. There was a whole verse about an elf named Chartan, and the Chantry just cut it out. So maybe the Golden City was meant as a metaphor. Or maybe it was added because of politics. That might change the history, but it doesn't have to change your whole faith. The Dalish clans are struggling with the same thing. What do we keep? What do we lose? The Elven Gods, the Maker. No matter who you light a candle to, you've got some hard questions to ask yourself right now. Doctrine is not the truth. It is one of many paths to the truth. I recognize the sentiment, though not the specific quote. Who said that? My mother. Ah. Oh. Questions of faith aside, we have some very real gods that still need killing. Looks like there are three more of these murals with the Dreadwolf's old memories. Wonder what else he's hiding. मेरे को तीन मिला मैंने तीन देख लिया। ओ मेरे को चार मिला। कुछ बात भी नहीं। You have so long observed the world. Why not consider joining it? But I have no desire to live as humans. I have the faint. Besides this talk of taking on a solid form, I think you underestimate the danger. When you took the glowing stone to build your body, but the earth not shake. The Lurium gives us the strength we had when we were of the Fade. We are the best of physical and spirit. I need your wisdom, Solus, to withstand the louder voices who would go too far like Elganon. I need you. This? Is madness. You must know that. I will always follow where you go. What? This is astounding. The ancient elves were spirits who voluntarily manifested a physical form. I'd rather go back to talking about the blight. Hey, Lucanus. Could Spite turn into an elf? No. Sorry, but... What? So elves are sort of spirits. What do we do with that? To be clear, this memory only shows that the first elves originated from spirits. Belara, you and Davran are no more spirits than anyone else conceived naturally. Conceived naturally? Guess I'll go ask my mother. The knowledge that an entire people were formed from a mass manifestation could change our entire understanding of magic. If we let it out, is that the right call? Do you want bigoted humans yelling about how elves are demons? Davrin's got a point. World's not short on small-minded humans. I don't think people will care right now. We've got evil gods trying to destroy the world. Evil, elven, blighted gods. Don't forget. We have to tell someone, though. Strife in Ireland, at least. If I told Thea and Viago, they'd think I was sampling Viago's poison collection. No one would believe us. Okay. We keep this to people we trust who have good reason to know. No shouting it from the rooftops. Agreed. The Morn Watch has a great deal of experience keeping dangerous secrets. So, beyond the world-shaking stuff, what else did we learn here? Solus himself was a spirit. What kind do you think he was? Well, his name is Elvin for pride. 
Oh. Okay. There's something else. Not about spirits. Or not all about them, at least. Solus didn't want to become a person with a physical body. Right. He only agreed after Mathal begged him. Then that's his regret. He wishes he'd never taken physical form. Maybe. But not just that. Solus was scared. They built their bodies out of lyrium. And it made the ground shake. You think the ground shaking was the Titans? It makes sense, doesn't it? Something was hurting them, taking their blood. So they struck back like we'd spot a stinging bug. The first memory we saw with Elganon seizing power, it happened at the end of a war. A war between the Titans and the Elves. And we just saw how it started. It feels like we still don't have the full picture. But I think that's part of what Solus regrets. He didn't see the danger. Except he did. He was worried. You said it yourself. He did it for Mithal. Everything that followed, he could have prevented. If he just told her no. Then he's got a war on his conscience. Plus, whatever we find next. map we see that we have to talk to Harding, Bellara, Neve and Tash. Okay, let's first go talk to him. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. एक सेकंड एक सेकंड मैं तो यूज़ कर रहा हूँ ऑप्टिमिस पैन और आरानाइस टैलन इसमें तो कोई भी नहीं दिखा रहा Increase the caretaker's power. Again.
अच्छा ये भी शायद किया हुआ है बैरियर डैमेज ही देता हूँ फिर सब लिया हुआ है अनलॉक एट रैंक सिक्स अच्छा कर लेते हैं रैंक सिक्स अभी अपग्रेड में फिजिकल डैमेज एडिट फिजिकल डैमेज दिस वन एम गोइंग टू गेट गिव फाइनल अटैक डैमेज और दैन गो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव एडिट फायर डैमेज दिस वन ट्वेंटी परसेंट फायर रेजिस्टेंस है चेंज हो जाएगा अच्छा अपग्रेड के यहाँ पे तीन लोगों की वेपन में कर सकता हूँ You're up late. You're awake to notice. Can't sleep. I know. I'm awake to ask. I sleep when I can get it. And this place—it's 
too quiet for that. Have you tried tea? You think that works? It does if you believe. Okay, what works then? How do you sleep? I don't know. Chase the right bastard through the wrong ritual? It'll knock you right out. Of course, you might wake up with a new accessory. Did you get the bastard? Yeah, I got him. It's not the quiet. I never could sleep once work gets in my head. But what's got you up at night? Tonight? I don't know. It's not like I've got problems sleeping. Aren't you lucky? Exhaustion. Works like a charm. Restlessness catches. Get one person in a room nervous, the whole place twitches. One person can't sleep. It's only getting later. Get out while you can. You ever follow your own advice? Never the good stuff. That was a nice chit chat. Why do you run around in fancy mage clothes? Because I like them. I'm barely even wearing a shirt. You fight Anton with a bare midriff. Everything all right? We're fine. Just trading fashion tips. So what I wear is a problem for you. It's not. It's just... Why dress like that? Are you trying to make your mother happy? Tosh, what's going on? Something is clearly bothering you. My bets on mothers and dresses. It's just something my mother said the other day. And I act more like a man than a woman. And you feel like you should wear dresses to make her happy? <laughs> no. Can you imagine me in a dress? I'd look stupider than I... I'd look stupid. You wouldn't look stupid in a dress, if that's what you wanted to wear. I don't want to wear a fucking dress! Clear and to the point. So, what do you want? Your mother didn't just make you angry. Something she said got its hooks into you. Why? It feels... right. When she says I act more like a man. It feels... right. Why does it feel right? Tosh, do you like being a woman? Huh. <laughs> Nobody likes being a woman. Ah. This is stupid. Forget I said anything. If you don't want to talk about it anymore, we won't. But whatever this is, this team is here for you. I, I still don't know what this is. Some of my friends in Mimrathas talk about not feeling comfortable in their own skin. As a man, as a woman. I could see if they'd like to talk. Maybe what they say fits how you're feeling. Yeah. Okay. And thanks. You do look really pretty. Oh? To look at, I'd smudge your makeup. Thanks for letting me down gently. I found a yam in the kitchen. <coughs> Stubborn just means you'll starve. Trouble settling in? Doing the best I can. My job was to keep the griffins safe, not fix their dinner. I meant to son. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're both adjusting.
Then where did Hassan and the others come from? Way I heard it. Someone found a journal a few years back that mentioned a secret clutch of eggs. They'd been hidden for centuries, protected by a ward. Started hatching and out came 13 talkative griffins. Now, down to just one. Even for a griffin, it has to be hard losing your brothers and sisters. They're a talkative bunch, always squawking at each other. Maybe it means something? Lancet and Remy would know what to do. They said a warden and a griffin have to move as one. Think as one. They call it Turlum. Sort of unity. But now, they're both dead. Why'd the Gloom Howler attack the Airy? I intend to find out. First it stalks wardens. Now it's after the griffins. Don't worry. You and I have a deal. We'll find them. Appreciate that. Though it sounds like you've got your hands full around here. Just a tad. Elgernon and Gilanane. Hard to believe. Can't be easy hearing that your own gods are ending the world. Elves have enough trouble. Don't need this on our heads too. But I have to say, killing a monster is one thing. Taking down the goddess of all monsters and the god of vengeance while you're at it? Every life in Thetis depends on it. Fair enough. Always good to know where the boss stands. Pretty much at the world not ending. I can get behind that. What? I told you. It's yams or nothing. Well, maybe you need a new menu. Okay, so now let's talk to the people Bellara and Harding. This is Bellara. No, oh, sorry, this is Harding. You've been quiet? I know, just thinking. But I said we'd talk, didn't I? I. I heard a voice. After we saved that man, it told me I was touched by the ancients and that I should seek it out. Seek her out. Do you think this voice has answers about your magic? She must. What if she's like me? Maybe that's why only I heard her. She said to look to those closest to the stone to locate her. Meaning? The children of the stone. Dwarves. Not surfacers like me, but the ones from the deep roads. Maybe there are other people down there with magic. You going to drag me down to the deep roads? I will absolutely drag you with me wherever I look for answers. I'll check with my contacts in Orzammar. The minute they give me a lead, we'll go. It's a date. <laughs> a date? I mean, uh, a pre-arranged time and place for a specific activity. Unless you wanted it to be a date date. <laughs> I um, shouldn't get ahead of myself. Who knows if my contacts will have anything to say. Right. Right. Let me know. <laughs> Why did he say like date date? Can not get to date man? Go. Why do you have to go that far and ask her like that? It's already so awkward. Around everybody here. Irulan and Strife sent word. Some of the artifacts we have in storage are acting up. They need a hand to make sure they stay calmed and don't rip a hole in reality. Anyways, we can go whenever you're ready. Okay. 
A. So I was going for uh, the siege of Wise Hop, but now I think I will go for this one now. Alathan. Protect Bellara. And I will take Tash here. Excellent. Tash and Bellara. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, uh, Bellara can heal me. Just like Harding. I didn't take Harding here because we are going with Harding in, a, in another quest. So it's wise to take this too here. Okay, quest ke dare. Acha yahan pe ek baat karna hai kisse fir yahan pe quest hai. Okay, let's talk to whoever or whatever this is. Maybe another. Aren't these the old folk? The whole village covered in blight, I heard. What could do such a thing? If Elgernon and Gillenane can control people, we have no defense against that. It is true. Gus. Oros and Gus, okay. Bale jumpers are in trouble. They could use our help if we can find them. This map is a good start. Careful out there. So here, yeah, Pena. I can't be sent there. Oh, hey, Rook. Hey, Rook. Okay, we all know why we're here, right? Make sure that the artifacts we calm stay calmed. We know. This should be easy. Yanarl, you and Strife take the first set. Irlin and Hamuel take the second. Rook and I will handle the rest. I'm still a little confused about what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, of course you are. Sorry, sometimes I forget not everyone spends all their time studying ancient elven artifacts. We're going to check the crystal alignment, fade connection, and the Lyran reserves. Has alignment ever been a problem? Even once? It's not worth the risk. Even if it's only off by a little bit, we know what happens. Happened once. And we can't even be sure the crystal alignment was why. Look, I know what you're saying, but maybe if we... We check it every single time. I I'm sorry. You're right. I just... Sorry. Forget it. Are you okay, Bellara? I'm fine. It's my fault, really. I'm sorry, Bellara. Let's go. We want to get back quickly. Of course. See you soon. I don't know why she was talking like that. So what was that all about? What was what all about? Attention. Seemed pretty heavy. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Here we are. The artifact vault. Or one of them, at least. Looks like it's seen better days. Repairing reality doesn't leave a lot of time for repairing walls. At least until someone falls through a hole in the floor. Random example. Okay, see those two power crystals? The ones that aren't glowing? There should be a couple of replacements, charged ones, in the room. If you grab them, I'll make sure the artifact stays calmed. A 
Okay, new power crystal is in. Great, and the artifact didn't collapse the room. Was that a possibility? Always is. And there we go. So it's calmed now. Should be, and it'll stay that way for a while. And in the meantime, it won't tear up in reality. Okay, let's keep going. Sure, sounds good. Oh, it's Mr. Artie, but can I'm like a word? Here's the zoom. So, it's nice out at least. You know, ignoring that reality itself is paper thin here. Hard to ignore that. Right. Done. Great. Bring it over here and put it in the socket. This is all the hundred percent sweetest you can ever do. What did this artifact do? Before it was calmed, I mean. It would bring flaming rocks down all around it. Every 30 minutes. <laughs> and for some reason, you'd hear chanting while it did it. Not oh, sure what that was about. Serves replace, which means there. Everything's looking good. Thank you, by the way, for helping out. You have better things to do, I know. We're keeping reality intact. That feels pretty important. Right. Good point. Okay, one more to go. That's all I can. Not too far now. Thank you for giving me this chance to help people. You were already kind of doing that as a veil jumper. Sort of, but it was never as big, you know? As grand? Helping you? Well, we're helping lots of people everywhere. I like that. Yeah. So how do you calm an artifact anyway? You have to cut it off from its power source, but carefully. Some of them like to try and blow up when you do it.
Dang it. will be. It takes a lot out of you, all those little magic bits. Not hard, just exhausting. But it needs to be done, and done right. Yeah, keeping reality from falling apart is important. But other Veil Jumpers can do this. Why not let them? Because maybe then I can make up for it. Make up for what? For not being good enough? When it counted? I'm sorry, I can't. Not right now. Laura, I'm, uh... My brother. What? Back there, you asked me why I did this. Why I put myself out here. For him. For my brother. Wherever he is. happened to your brother? Syrian. His name was Syrian. We were the same, you know, in a lot of ways. We wanted to learn everything about Elvenon, the magic, the people, all of it. We heard about the Nodestrathalin, figured it had the answers, or some of them. Then all of them started going wrong. I joined the Veil Jumpers to help people. And he kept looking, kept putting himself in danger. It should have been safe. I know, I checked that artifact three times. I guess it should have been four. Artifacts started pulsing. He was too close. I couldn't find my way in. They called him a hero, wanted to make a statue. They thought it would make it all okay. I'm sorry, doesn't feel like enough. It's something, even if it doesn't fix it. Syrian, he, he felt responsible for our people, for me, my little brother. He thought he needed to take care of me. He called me Vora Shivan, hummingbird in Elven. Said it was because I could never sit still. But he loved me for it. Said it kept him thinking, trying to keep up. And he helped me too. He kept me focused, anchored. And now he's gone. Because 
say wasn't good enough. It's not your fault. You have to know that. Then why does it feel like it was? You lost someone important. Guilt's part of that. But if you don't learn to get past it, it'll drown. I wish it were that easy. I've tried. Told myself I couldn't have done anything, and my head believes it. But my heart doesn't. So I try to make up for it. Honor him. Learn about our people. Find the truth. Maybe when I do, I'll feel it. Feel what? That he forgives me. And that I deserve it. We should head back. Rook? Thank you for being here. mission is I can't get to this region I don't know why oh because of the blight we can make a blight to the key need I am the killer I blight Light is in the way. Some Martha, he need a tiger, and there is no other way from. Try to approach from that side. If I can't, I will just save the game and end the video there. Okay, so left is no option. One eighty. यहां से जम करके जाना पड़ेगा क्या एक सेकेंड थोड़ा पीछे जाता हूँ
I wish I could breathe fire. I don't know, it just feels like the kind of thing that could be useful, you know? Sometimes it helps to burn through stuff. I wonder if we can make it go further or hotter. How long can you hold your breath? Yeah, Not long. Healers say it's because breathing <laughs> fire hurts my lungs. Oh, never mind. This is where Taenor was headed. This blight here. Didn't mention that. You know, blight spreads fast. What else? Oh, not good. That relic ended up blighting Oros. He managed to destroy the relic. Taenor and Gus must be out here somewhere. We'll keep looking. trouble.
another owl. Yeah, I 
Mark you Dark spot. Is that? I think that's Taino. One more veil jumper to find. The tracker, Gus. Let's hope we can still save him. What's that there? By those bushes? Collar. It says... Gus. Wait. The tracker Taynor talked about was a Nuck. Oris's companion Nuck. Let's get you home, little one.
doing this to get more enemies on my way. Treasure hunters, right? Yep. And that includes ruins? Elven ruins? Yep. I see. Okay. Sure. Okay. I hope Taina is all right. I haven't seen her in days. Popping up. That's Gus. I wondered where he was. Haven't seen Oros or Taino in a while either. I'm sorry. Gus was the only one I could save. Oh, creators have mercy. Poor Gus. Do you think he understands? I... I suppose I'll look after him now. Oros wouldn't want him to be lonely. Thank you, Rook. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. Be happy to sell you a bit or a bob, or both. It's only two fifty. I can only see the appearance, not the qualities. Okay, so yeah, bye. Another day, see you soon. Take Do care. Best not to die.